inside an unexpected find. A mysterious leather-bound book called a codex. The farmer can't decipher its ancient text, but he knows old books fetch a good price in Cairo's antiquities market. He has no idea he holds one of the greatest prizes of biblical archaeology, a document condemned as heresy some 1,800 years ago. Twenty-two years later, New York, 2000. Antiquities dealer Frida Nussberger Chacos is headed to JFK Airport when she hears some stunning news. She'd recently bought the same ancient codex from an Egyptian dealer. Then she'd taken it to Yale University to have it checked out. Now, an expert drops a bombshell. Hello. He had an extremely emotional voice. And he said, Frida, it's, it's fantastic. This is, this is uh, very important uh, documents. And I think it is the Gospel of Judas. For Chakos, it is the payoff for years of pursuit. She had become obsessed with the mysterious codex without ever knowing what it contained. It's more than a mission now that I think of. I think I was chosen by Judas <laughs> to rehabilitate him. I think the circumstances of this manuscript coming to me were predestinated. Judas was asking me to do something for him. Switzerland, 2002. World-renowned document restorer Florence Dabre opens the box containing the Gospel of Judas for the very first time. I had to look at it. I had to open the box. I said, wow, and had to open and close the box several times. You need nerves of steel to touch certain objects. In 30 years of work, she had never seen an ancient document in such bad shape. Its fragile papyrus pages have broken into hundreds of fragments. Whatever document you work with, there is always a story. It is so ancient that you always wonder who wrote it. Where did it go? Who had it? And who read it? To get answers, Dabre will join with Rodolphe Kasser, one of the world's preeminent translators of an ancient Egyptian language called Coptic, the language the document is written in. <laughs> 